Hi, my name's Chef Hutchings, and this is my quick guide to installing the free cakewalk door from BandLab. Not many people know this, but you can download the free cakewalk software from the BandLab Assistant. So let's do that now. Log into BandLab Assistant on your PC. At the top right of the Assistant window, click on Apps. Just below the Cakewalk image, click on Install. Click on the tick boxes next to Studio Instrument Suite and Drum Replacer. Then click on Install. Cakewalk will now start to install. It took about 20 minutes to install on my Windows 10 laptop, but how long it takes depends on your internet connection. Click on OK if your language is English, or click on the drop down list and click on your preferred language, then click on OK. Read the license agreement, then click on the circle next to I accept the agreement, and click on Next. Then click on Next again, and click on Next again. Click on Install. While Cakewalk installs, let me tell you the computer requirements you need for Cakewalk. Well, first, you need a Windows computer, because it doesn't run on Mac. You need an i5 CPU or faster. Preferably, you want 8 gigs of memory or more. You need a audio interface or sound card that is compatible with DOS, and preferably one that has an ASIO driver. You will also need some speakers and headphones and a microphone. Click on Finish. A BandLab web page will now open. Read the web page if that kind of thing interests you, or just close the web page. The two add ons will now install. Next, we need to set up Cakewalk and your sound card or audio interface. Once the install is finished, click on the new Cakewalk shortcut that has appeared on your desktop to start Cakewalk. Cakewalk will now scan for VST files. From the start screen, choose a project type. Basic is a good place to start. To check or set up your sound card or audio interface, at the top left of the screen, click on Edit. Then at the bottom of the drop down menu list, click on Preferences. At the top left of the Preferences window, click on Devices in the Audio section. Your sound card or audio interface should appear in the top right input device pane and the output device pane just below the input device pane. If you have one or more devices, make sure there is a tick in the tick box to the left of the sound card or audio interface that you want to use with BandLab Cakewalk. If you have installed an ASIO driver for your audio interface, Click on Playback and Recording in the Audio section. And at the top of the right pane, click on the Driver Mode drop down list and click on ASIO. At the bottom of the Preferences window, click on Close. Now that we have the sound set up, Let's run a demo project to make sure the sound is working. Connect either speakers or headphones to your sound card or audio interface. At the top right of the screen, click on the Media tab. And in the drop down menu list, click on Audio Library. 
Then click the up arrow folder icon to the left of the drop down menu list and double click on the demo projects folder in the media pane. Now double click on a demo project to load it into Cakewalk. Once the demo project is loaded at the top of the screen, click on the play button. Then click on the stop button when you want to stop the demo. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.